I were going to be working on the first lesson in topic one. It's going to be lesson one. The goal is um, I can count on to add and I can add in any order. Um, there's a fancy word that we can use when we're talking about adding in any order and it's called commutative property. Um, it's not something that you have to know that big word, but it is something that's really cool if you if you did remember that commutative property. Um, so I want to start with um, a few equations. Um, let's see. All right, so the first equation that we're going to talk about is 5 plus 7. Um, and we want to know what the sum of 5 plus 7 is. Now remember, the sum is the answer to an addition equation. Um, this is the equation. And then the numbers 5 and 7 are called the add-ends. Um, I want to know what the sum of 5 and 7 is. And Mrs. Lane says do this strategy called counting on. Um, you might also hear it called be called um, counting up. Um, that just means start from the larger of the two add-ends and then put that number in your head and count on from there. So if I was going to do 5 plus 7 and I wanted to use count on, I would start at 7. Now you don't have to write this on your paper. This is just like what I would be thinking inside of my head. So here's my head bubble. So I would start at 7 and I would say 7, 8, 9, 10, wait, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I want to make sure I start, stop at 12. So 12 would be what the answer is. So 7, it's much easier for me not to write this and to be thinking it in my head. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And there you go. So that's how you do counting on or counting up. Um, if you were wondering what you should be thinking in your head, 7 is your start number. So you should only have five numbers that follow after 7. So don't count 7 and say 7, 7, 7, 7, like no, 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 no. You've got to say seven and then put your finger up or then count on from there. You can't start with the number seven and count that. So there are one, two, three, four, five numbers that I went on from there. Um, there are some times where we will even have an open number line so that we can um, chart that and we would say seven and then we would have some little numbers here. Seven would be your start number and you could even do like a dot like this, seven. Eight, nine, oh, actually, let me get a redo, hold on. So you could do seven, and then you want to do five jumps after that. So seven, and then you're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Your stop number would be right here on number 12. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The sum is 12. Um, now I want to talk a little bit about how these add-ends can go in any order. Remember I told you that fancy word called commutative property. Um, that just means that I can, instead of just saying always five plus seven equals 12, I could change it around and I could say seven plus five equals 12. It just means that I can put the numbers in any order for the addition equation. Um, so sometimes you might be asked to please tell two addition facts For a certain equation, here would be two addition facts. I've got the 5 in both of them and I've got the 7 in both of those. Um, those would be two addition facts that have the same answer um, using that commutative property. Alright, so some more examples with the uh, um, count on. Um, 9 plus 4. So what is the sum of the add-ends 9 plus 4? I would want to put, the, remember, the larger number in my head. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have four fingers that are up, which is what I'm supposed to. Oh, wait, what was that stop number? Oh, let's do it again. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. The sum is 13. Now, if you needed to write it in two ways, which is part of our goal, that would mean that I'm switching these numbers. So my 4 would be first, and then my 9 would follow. So 9 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 9. Those equations are equal. I could even take it a step further 
using that same fact family, 9 plus 4 equals 13. I could even say 13 equals 4 plus 9. Now there is a question on your paper that wants you to form it in this type of way. Um, when you're looking at this and you're trying to figure out what numbers go after, it might even be a good idea to kind of hide that first equation um, so that you don't get confused because it does get to be a little bit confusing. So the first equation um, on your page, and this is on page, um, let's see, page number seven. And so there are some questions that say write the missing numbers. Um, there are some questions on page eight that also have some missing numbers and they have a lot of um, equal signs. I want you to just pay attention to, there might be a time where you have to pretend that that's not there so you don't get confused. It doesn't mean add 9 plus 4 and then add 13. Notice the equal signs that are there. We'll talk about it again if we need to, but that's what I want you to know. Um, moving on. Oh, here's my paper. All right. So we've got another equation. Let's do 8 plus 10. Um, some of these you might be able to do in your head, just depending on how familiar that you are with um, math and with the skills that you learned in first grade. Um, so for this, 8 plus 10, I would want to start with 10. Um, you might even want to, to rewrite the equation like this, 10 plus 8. This is called vertical way. Vertical means straight up and down. Um, you might see these lines behind me. These are called vertical blinds because they go up and down. Um, horizontal is this direction, like the horizon of the sun. When the sun comes up, we call this the horizon. Vertical, like the blinds. But anywho, um, sometimes it might be easier for you to look at it this way. Um, zero plus eight is eight, and one plus no, no tens is one ten. Um, but for this purpose, you also want to kind of be thinking about um, the counting on. So ten plus the eight, you would start at the ten. I'm sorry, eight plus ten. I just I just ended up changing it around to be 10 plus 8. The commutative property says that I can do that. So I just want to start with that bigger number, the 10, and I'm going to add 8 onto that. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I added the 8, and my stop number, my sum, is 18. And that will be true for both of these equations. The commutative property says that it doesn't matter what order that they're in. So 8 plus 10 is the same as 10 plus 8. Um, if I was told, oh, it looks like this, I need to write it a new way. Um, the new way would just mean instead of having the 8 on the bottom, I'm going to put the 8 on the top. So if I was told, write two addition facts, I would just change this to put the 8 on the top, and that 10 would just go on the bottom. The sum is going to be the same of 18. I'm just switching around which order I'm adding the add-ins. And I can do that with addition, but I'm not allowed to do that with subtraction, okay? So addition says the commutative, the commutative property means that I can add them in any order. That's all you kind of really need to know. That's just how it is. Um, I did talk a lot about these number, these vocabulary words. Let's do a couple of more equations. Um, 4 plus 6 equals something. Remember, 4 and 6 are called add-ends. Sometimes you might have an equation with a missing add-end, and you would have to figure out what the missing add-end is. So this one has two add-ends, and we're trying to find the sum, which is the answer. So 4 plus 6 Remember, because the commutative property, I can switch that around, and I can say 6 plus 4. I want to start with adding 6, because that's the larger number. Um, and I want to just count on from there. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. That means that 4 plus 6 is also 10. And there might be times where you see some crazy-looking equation um, that you need to fill in. So if it said 6 plus 4 equals something, and then it equals something plus something, um, you would just fill in the things that you know. 6 plus 4 equals 
10. And then in this equation, you've got the add end of the 6 first. So you would just want to put the add end of 6 at the end and put the 4 first. So look, this is where I told you make sure you're kind of hiding this if you want. So 10 equals 4 plus 6. So I've got the 4 and then the 6. This one has the 6 and then the 4. Those ones are really weird ones on your, um, on your problem set that you're working on for independent work today. Um, I'm mostly talking about problem number 14. That one is one of the trickier ones. It's not my super fave, but just in case you get stuck, I want to make sure that I'm putting that in your brain so that you can think about it. Um, let's see. Let's just do one more just to make sure. And we'll do that one. Um, remember, this is called vertical. 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 Which one is correct? I think this one is wrong. Oops. <laughs> so we're going to do it vertical way. And it doesn't matter how you spell vertical way. As long as you know it's called vertical way, it goes up and down. All right? So we've got, let's just do 8 plus 3. And I'm told to write two addition statements, two addition equations, two addition facts. Um, I would just switch it around. This one says 8 plus 3, so I would just change it. The 3 would go at the top and the 8 would go at the bottom. Don't forget your addition sign, 8 plus 3. So it's easier to start with 8. So 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, you might start having some of these memorized. That would be like the super best awesome thing of your life. Um, but if you don't, you can just keep counting on from there. So three and and if you so let's pretend you weren't listening and you were like, hey, I want to start with a small number because I just want to and I want to do the opposite of what my teacher said. Um, if you started at three and you had to count on from there, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You had a lot of fingers up. It's way easier to just say 8, 9, 10, 11, and get your work done and move along with your life. Um, so that's kind of why we're saying start with the big number. It'll make your life a lot easier. It'll help you memorize a lot of those um, facts a lot quicker as well. All right, so the things that we discussed today were um, counting on and adding on and the ability to add in any order. So just because your question says you must add 3 plus 7, it doesn't mean that you have to start with the 3. You can start with the 7 and add on from there. So it's way easier to say what is 7 plus 3 and start counting on from there. So 7, 8, 9, 10. The sum is... 10. That's what I got for you. Good luck. Have fun with number 14. Maybe save it for last or get it done first if you really don't want to do it. Bye.